Hey, I'm Pastor Fred. This is the follow through. What's the follow through? Well, it is where we are. We're getting into the Word of God. We're listening to Him. So what is God saying to us? Because we want to live for Him. Hit that subscribe button. Share this with somebody in your life. All week, we are in Ephesians 6. Today, we're going to be in 6, uh, Ephesians 6, verse 13. And uh, I, I just want to ask you, do you know somebody, or maybe you're, you yourself, uh, you're struggling with an addiction? You're, you're struggling with sin, with some kind of temptation. And, and it's just something in like, again, you, you, you understand when, when we're talking war, you're like, yeah, this feels a lot like a war. I feel like I'm under attack. I, I feel like, you know, there's this, maybe there's this anger in you that you just can't shake. Uh, maybe this feeling of defeat, this feeling of shame and guilt and all of that. And you're just like, what can I do? And so God is here to say, look, I got some armor for you. In fact, Paul says, look, therefore, because we're against, we're fighting and wrestling against not flesh and blood, but rulers and authorities, cosmic powers, uh, the spiritual forces of evil. Since we're up against all of that, take up the whole armor of God. It's like the second time he said it. Put it on, take it up, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all, to stand firm. That's wild, isn't it? That we could go from struggling and defeated and, man, I can't do this. And God's like, look, I got you. Like, look, don't you realize Jesus died and, and was victorious? Don't, don't you realize that, that he actually, not theoretically, but he actually you know, shed his blood for you? He actually would do that. that. God loves you that much that he would do that and that he would rise again and, and give you a promise that you too will live eternally with him. What an amazing thing. I mean, that's what we stand on. That's the armor that we're going to talk about. It's all, it's all about what he's already done right now, right now. And so put on that armor and, and, and see, that's the hard part, you know, cause I mean, I, I've, I've, I've preached series, uh, a sermon series on this passage and, and I, and I read it and read it and read it, but sometimes, you know, I, I go outside and, and I know I haven't like, like, like intentionally put it on. I, I just kind of go through my day. Uh, I, I wouldn't forget my cell phone, but but the armor, yeah. I'll, I'll, you know, sometimes we do that. So we gotta we gotta come clean with God and say, you know what, Lord, I need to hear this because because sometimes I think the armor is is just too heavy. Uh, I think it's kind of in the way sometimes, and, and that is not that's that's not right. That's that's just really that's why we struggle so much, I think, and that's why. We're taking hits because we're, we're open and we're vulnerable. And, uh, and I want to ask you a question. Like, if you, if you were like, there's a battle going on, like, let's say like your town was being invaded. And uh, remember the movie Red Dawn? And, and, and they were, you know, the Russians were coming into this town and we got we to defend it. And would you go into that battle knowing it was going to be hand to hand combat and it wasn't going to be just missiles and tanks, but it was going to be you against other soldiers? Uh, and, and maybe like, as we're going to see, like maybe there were arrows that are going to come or spears or other things, just swords. And, uh, and you're going to need things like armor, things like a, like a, like a, like a helmet or, or a, like a, a chest thing to protest, uh, you know, protect your chest or a shield and all those things. Now, what if I said, Hey man, I got some stuff that is going to deflect all of those things. It's going to protect you. Now, would you go, no, 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 I don't need that. I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm, I'm going to ask for like, give me all of it. Give me every little bit. I don't want to, I don't want you to leave out a piece. I don't want a piece of me that's not protected. Um, I mean, this resonates with me. My, my, my oldest son is a, is a hockey goalie and, uh, and, and he understands armor. He, he understands the need to have that protection. Um, and, and so, but he also realizes that he's got to move around and, and he's able to do that but also to be protected because again, people are taking shots at him. Uh, that's the game, that's how it works. And that's what the devil does, he's taking shots at us. And, and so God's going, look, I've got the armor for you. I got it already. So let's put it on. Next, next couple days, we're gonna unpack what that armor is. But uh, I just wanna say for now that, because uh, I need you to know this, that that, that armor that, that guards your heart, that guards your mind and everything is this peace of God. It, it, it's, it's a 
this truth that we're saved by His love for us. And Jesus died on the cross, right? We, that's the protection against anything that will come against us. Nothing will separate us from the love of God that's in Christ. That's, that's at the heart of all the armor we're going to look at is Jesus already finished, accomplished work on the cross, his, his amazing rising from the dead. Uh, man, you talk about armor, that's bulletproof, all right? So you have a great day, and we'll talk to you next time for another follow-through.